What's up everybody, it's Crypto Rocket bringing you the latest and most important news in the crypto world. Guys, you have to stay informed if you want to make money in crypto. That's why I make videos every single day talking about the most important things that you need to know to make life-changing money. So subscribe to my channel and don't miss this opportunity to make a lot of money. And like this video because it helps the channel a lot to grow and get recommended by YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to talk about Cardano, Polkadot, and Ethereum. And the most important topics we're going to talk about today are IOHK's proposal for the Ethereum community could use Cardano or Bitcoin for prevention of 51% attacks. Is Polkadot the next Ethereum? Ethereum devs discuss gas optimizations, but it will probably be too little too late. But first, let's check out what's happening with Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is uh, going down again. So yeah, it's very, uh, it's a very bearish market right now. We're going down. So basically, like two days ago, we went all the way down to 10,165. And we went up a little bit here. It's not even a little bit. It's a lot, actually. Boom. To 10,600 level. And then we, now we're going down again. <laughs> we're at the 10,200 level and it looks like we're still going down. If we look at the one hour chart, yeah, we're basically going down again. So yeah, but the thing is we have like a giant safety area right over here at this place here. So if we look at this area here before we have like these three points right over here. So this is the first point. The second point, we also got boom so you got these two points here and basically this is a threshold area and it's it's not gonna pass this line here so this is our last defense line 9700 so what's gonna happen to bitcoin probably like this is my assumption it's gonna go down all the way to this level here and when it does it's gonna jump back up which is pretty good news but for that it still needs to go long ways down that's even like 500 dollars less so yeah to have a huge dip and then later when it touches this area it's gonna jump back up slowly and we're gonna see what's gonna happen yeah we can actually look so this is a just a giant correction here so if i use this measure here and if i place it right this way here boom then we can check out it's literally a 20 percent i can go here yeah it's like a 20 percent correction which is pretty okay this is actually normal behavior in a bullish Bitcoin market. So this is actually pretty normal for things like this to happen. Stuff like this did happen all the time. So we just have to wait it out. And later when there's a spike, you can make your money. So you can actually start buying Bitcoin on some of these levels, maybe even on this level, because later it's going to start going up again. So that's going to be awesome. And if we check out the rest of coins, everything is again going down because bitcoin is going down so literally bitcoin is minus 2.3 percent ethereum is minus 8.5 so yeah that's that's a huge difference ripple minus almost four percent a chain link uh is minus seven percent ban is minus 13 percent ban is going down it's under ten dollars this is really bad for a band we got chain we got we chain here 0.012 yeah we're going down again minus 11 percent guys yeah it's it's a very bearish scenario right now but later like yeah cardano ada where it's going now cardano's going down it's a minus eight percent this is it's just not good polka dot po my bro polka dot here is going down also it's like there's no more excuses last time the only coin that was going up was polka dot but now it's going also down, which is pretty, pretty bad. It's minus 7%. So yeah, all the coins, the whole market is again going down. And that's what we've been seeing for the last couple of days because Bitcoin just went down all the way. So we literally were at like $12,000 and now we're all the way down here and at 10000 So yeah, it's a huge problem, but slowly as bitcoin starts like going up again everything is gonna go up and everything is gonna stabilize like it was before our key proposal for the ethereum community could use cardano or bitcoin for prevention of the 51 attack 
Will Ethereum Classic community accept this new solution from Charles Hawkinson IOHK? Earlier today, IOHK presented its checkpoint proposal to the Ethereum Classic community. This is meant as a short-term solution for preventing future 51 attacks. In the past several weeks, the network has suffered a number of such attacks which has cast doubt in Ethereum Classic future. One of those attacks cost OKX 5.6 million. In the wake of these problems, several exchanges increased validation times for Ethereum Classic transactions. So basically, Ethereum Classic got attacked. I think this is like the third time it actually got attacked with the 51% attack, and it's they lost 5.6 million dollars. That's a lot, guys. This is a huge problem for Ethereum Classic. So Mr. Hawkinson has a proposal what they can actually do to stop this from happening, at least at the short term. And its name would imply the solution process, the introduction of checkpoints that would validate the network. Thus, if an adversary were to mine a shadow network, as previous attackers did when they managed to double spend founds on OKX, this shadow network would not have those validating checkpoints. Therefore, while they may have more proof on work than the main network, it will not be accepted. Checkpointing would be performed by an unspecified or all from the OBFT checkpointing network and signed on the Ethereum Classic by trusted members. The checkpoints would be inserted on an average every three blocks. The proposal does not specify who would be chosen as trusted members, but if accepted, a heated debate is likely to ensure over the selected. OBFT consciousness is also used by Cardano. We asked the presenters if Cardano could be used instead of creating a new checkpointing network. They said that this is possible and that Bitcoin could also be used for this purpose. As to the general question of the size of the checking point network, they said, it still needs to be defined, but it's important to know how that plays because the bigger the federation, the bigger time slots you need until you get agreements on two-thirds of that needed to reach consensus. Members of the Ethereum Classic community made a number of proposals aimed at solving these existential issues faced by the network, from changing the hashing algorithm to greater regulators on hash power marketplaces. There is no way of predicting which route the Ethereum class will take, yet one thing seems to be certain. If something is not done soon, the network whose mantra is code is law may ultimately be repealed. So basically, uh, Cardano has an idea to make checkpoints in the system. Basically, on every three blocks, they want to put a checkpoint and save that point. But the thing is, people need to vote, at least the most important people in Ethereum class need to vote where the checkpoint is going to be. So they need like some trustworthy people who are going to always look at that and be sure that that checkpoint needs to be there. So there's a lot of things they need to do, and this is a huge problem, but they will slowly start to solve this. Is Polkadot the next Ethereum? The protocol's metric rise since it was launched on August 20 has taken the market by surprise. When its developers finally unleashed, it's on the market on August 20 after multiple delays, Polkadot sparked a frenzy of excitement among investors, soaring from $2.82 to a high of $6.82 on September 1st. At the time of writing, it was 5.32, creeping back up from a low of 4.75 after Thursday's market crash. The protocol has even knocked rising star Chainlink, the much wanted Ethereum killer, out of fifth place on coin market cap, a highly respectable position for a crypto that was largely unknown outside the nerdosphere until quite recently. Only two assets now stand between Polkadot and Ethereum, a tenacious occupant of the number two position XRP and Tether. What is Polkadot? An open source project founded by the Web3 Foundation, Polkadot is a shredded protocol that enables blockchain networks to operate in synergy. The DOT token serves three distinct purposes governance or the network, staking, and bonding. One feature that sets it apart from the Ethereum killer projects like Cardano, Adat, and Chainlink is designed to coexist with the leading smart contracts, blockchain protocols, rather than compete against them. In the eyes of some investors, this relationship may make it more appealing because knocking Ethereum, which is already a widely utilized working product, off its pedestal could be a Herculean challenge, even for a technically superior project. Like Ethereum, 
Ethereum Polkadot has an active economy that is home to 197 projects according to the data from Polka project and the number is expanding to steadily grow. Polkadot was created in 2016 by Gavin Wood, a key player in the development of the Ethereum Solidarity Program language and party technologies. Spartan Black Kevin Koch, who currently predicted DOT's price would exceed $5 shortly after its launch, expects it to continue climbing to the market cap ladder. He said within a year, DOT will be top 3 market cap on coin market cap. Polkadot also has plenty of friends on YouTube where it is being hailed as the biggest thing to come along since Ethereum. Others are perplexed by Polkadot's meteoric rise following its sudden appearance on the scene just two weeks ago. Brablo tweeted, can someone explain to me what the F is Polkadot. Polkadot is and where the hell it come from and it's in top 5 crypto right now and was only recently launched August 20th. What happened? The future. Polkadot's combination of the active community, plenty of excitement being generated on social media and YouTube, a growing number of projects in its ecosystem. The involvement of a developer of Woods Caliber and the fact that it is one of the projects riding the decentralized finance wave may provide impetus for Ethereum-like price action at the top of the next bull cycle. However, it remains to be seen whenever it has the stamina can go all the way. Looking at it strictly from an investing perspective, it may just be another flavor of the month crypto. Remember Neo? That soon seeds the spotlight to the next project that generates a buzz. Some analysts believe investing in small cap projects operating in the Polkadot ecosystem, Chain X, for example, will yield far better gains than Polkadot itself, but with higher profits comes higher. Risks. So let's check out what's happening to Polkadot right about now. I think we already did, but the thing is, it's going down. <laughs> yeah, everything is going down. So, oh, look at this. Yarn of Fi is going down at minus 20%. That's, that's a lot. So basically, Dot right now is at 0 0.00045. And it was all the way up to 00, 0 yeah, 0 0.0057. So what was its all-time high here? Yeah, I think it was this was its high right here. So we have a lot of things to do, guys. Right now it's falling down, but as Bitcoin stops doing these kind of things, like it stops going down, it will start going up. Like every single thing will start going up. But for now, we're still seeing a really bearish market here. Ethereum developers discuss gas optimizations, but it will probably be too little too late. Developers see the problem, but there is little they can do right now. An Ethereum all core devs call was held on Friday to discuss a variety of Ethereum improvement proposals as gas fees on the network remain historically high. The agenda included several discussion points on high gas prices and ways to mitigate the issue. Alexi, an independent Ethereum researcher, opened with a comment on the existence of gas tokens and how they could push price higher than normal. He highlighted how the meme pool is often filled with transactions binding a certain gas price to mint these tokens and compare this approach to other book exchanges where traders fish for dips with low price orders. But according to him, the fact that gas bidding orders cannot be easily cancelled could mean that prices remain artificially high as any dip is bought by default. While a proposal to eliminate the refund mechanism that underpins the gas tokens was floated around, Akano acknowledged that the magnitude of gas token minting can only account for about 2% of current gas usage. This would suggest that any negative contribution they might have could be limited in size, but he said that he would need to find more data before finally discussing options to eliminate this mechanism. So let's check out what's happening with Ethereum right now. Yeah, so Ethereum is down by 8%. Yeah, this is this is, this is, this is just ter terrible. So if we, we use our measure again, let's see what's the difference here. So it's basically, it went down almost 30%, guys. So this is... Um, this is pretty bad. So 30% is a lot here. Maybe it's correcting. I don't really believe, really believe that it's correcting right now. It's maybe it is because of this high here, but it's pretty, it's just going down under everything. So it's basically like nothing happened. Like this whole thing never happened. So will it continue to go down? I don't really know. We're going to see in the next couple of days as Bitcoin finally stops, but it still needs to stop on this level here. So we have more of like the bear run. So it's complicated. We're going down. Everything's going down. But later when it reaches this level here and if it goes up, then we're all, all going to be safe. And finally, every coin is going to go up. 
So I can't wait for that to happen. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you learned something new that's gonna help you and make you money with crypto. Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. See you guys in the next one. Bye.